stuff. Uh, today, <clears throat> I am going to just show you what I've been advent uh, di uh, diamond painting for Advent. Um, for the past two weeks, I have not been on uh, my uh, YouTube channel because I've had quite a uh, an awful time uh, here with my uh, laptop. I have not been able to um, do any uh, video taping because I've had a problem with uh, being able to videotape. Um, I sent my laptop home with my grandson and we discovered that I had a very serious problem. I had um, a rare glitch uh, in my Windows program. So that required a lot of uh, uninstalling and reinstalling some files and uh, putting things back on my laptop. And it was quite a, a, a process for him, but he's got things uh, back up and running again on my laptop. And hopefully now uh, things will be running uh, much better. I don't know if that's been my problem all along, at least with all the problems I've been having lately, uh, and most likely was. And I don't know how I got the, what caused it or not, but he said through all the research that he's been doing with Windows 10, uh, which is what I have, he said that happens sometimes with that with Windows 10. So evidently I was one of the lucky people who had who that happened to. So anyway, so hopefully we've got that problem solved and I am back in business again. I am hoping. So anyway, I decided to just go ahead and show you what I've been doing because I have kept up with my advent and what I uh doing it and I thought, well, I'm not going to try to do, uh, you know, I couldn't videotape. So I'm just going to head and show you what I have done from day, uh, I think I left off with day 13 or 4, I don't know what day I left off with, to tell you the truth right now. I'd have to go back and look. But anyway, it might have been day 15, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but anyway, this is what I did. It was uh, the diamond pa uh, painting that I chose to do for my advent was Joy to the World. And I really, really like the way that it turned out. Uh, I could see Joy to the World, the lettering came out beautifully. The smaller le uh, letter to the, I can see very clearly and uh, it, it just is a beautiful diamond painting. I am so pleased with it, and it's one that I will use uh, at Christmas time next year, or I may give it away as a gift next year. I'm not sure just what I'll do yet, but I do know that I'm very, very pleased with it. So, um, yes, it turned out wonderfully. So uh, this is the one I used for Advent, and I am so pleased with the, the one I did. And I just put my hand on here and I think I took off a bee, uh, diamond, but I don't see, maybe it was just a loose one of uh, one that, um, well, I'll just wait and look for it later. Sometimes along the edges you'll find a loose, a loose one that, uh, that you've uh, didn't need there in the first place. So anyway, I'll check that out later. But uh, it looks very good to me and I'm very, very happy with it. So, uh, and I always, oh, noting that this, uh, about this loose bead or diamond, I will tell you that I always keep the legend to my paintings that have the corresponding um, uh, numbers and letters uh, to the colors of the beads and stuff so that if one ever did fall off and I needed to replace it, I can always go back and check that legend and find out what that color was so that I can replace it because uh, it's very easy 
to not know which one you're supposed to replace, uh, especially if you're in a confetti situation. Uh, if you're in a color blocking situation, it's much easier, but not in a confetti. So, okay, that enough being said on that one. And I, I have been thinking back, you know, I, there's several I did before I started my advent uh, uh, page that I don't know if I shared with you that I had completed or not. So I'm going to share them with you now just to be sure that, you know, I have covered my bases because like I said, things have been so messed up over the past couple weeks that I don't know just where I left off totally. Anyway, this is my little uh, bag that I got and I know I have shared the unboxing with uh, you, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I have this one finished and it has been sealed and it is, it's a very cute little bag. I uh, wanted you to see that and I used the Tombow glue with that and I'm very pleased with it. I, I always am pleased with Tombow glue. It does such a good job. I've used it now for over two years and I'm just real pleased with that. Uh, anyway, this one is done and I'll probably go to one of my grandchildren. The next one I have to show you is my uh, Three Little Gnomes, my pumpkins. Uh, I did this one around Halloween time or, or maybe it was after. But this one, uh, I just really pleased with it. It's got the pumpkins and the uh, sunflowers and it turned out beautifully. I, I like it very much and it is it is just a beautiful little uh, picture. It's a 30 by 40 and I'm so pleased with it. I will be fr uh, uh, sealing that and I'll probably uh, cut all the edges here off and put a, a dowel rod at the top here and a string and save this as a door hanger. So I really like this one a lot. Then the next one I have to show you is my cute little elephant. And I I don't know if I've showed you this one or not, but anyway, I did. I'm sure going to show them all to you again if I've showed them to you once. I, I apologize. Please, uh, uh, know that I I'm going to show them to you again. Never hurts to show them to you again. This one here I did uh, add uh, change up a little bit. I put some uh, crystal rhinestones in the this one with the, in the eyes, some blue, and then I also put some red and pink in the uh, barrettes in the in the flowers on the ears, and I thought it turned out very nicely. I was very pleased with it. And here I have my my uh, dragon fly, and it turned out very nicely. I have a this uh, I know uh, someone in mind that I want to give this to as a gift, so this will I know be liked very much by this person. She collects dragonflies, and I'm sure she will love it. It's turned out very nicely. And this one here, uh, I just love this one. This one is, is be these are beautiful roses of uh, peach and red, uh, pink colored roses with butterflies. Lovely, lovely picture. It's a 35 by 45 and it just turned out amazingly beautiful. I don't know if you can tell it by looking at it on the, on the picture, on the screen or not, but in person it is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. Uh, the only thing about this one that just kind of drove me crazy a little bit was that it had a lot of trashy drills to it, and which had nothing to do with this picture, but evidently that the manufacturer of the beads uh, I don't know they were uh, maybe got a hold of some bad beads on the darker colors especially 
uh, it wasn't so much these the pretty lighter colors here it was more the darker colors that I had a lot of trash with but anyway uh, it turned out beautifully I was worried about with all the trash that I would maybe come up short and uh, missing some beads but I it turned out I had enough beads uh, beads I don't mean beads I call uh, drills for the whole thing and it turned out lovely so I'm just very pleased with the whole thing so those are the ones that I were doing right before Advent and I'm very pleased with them and this then of course is the one I was doing for Advent so these are the ones that I have to show you right now and they are just um, beautiful and uh, I am so pleased to uh, with each one of them so I I will have another video coming for you in in the very near future uh, with um, a couple of um, with a couple that I'm I'm doing right now I was working on one uh, with um, some coasters uh, that I uh, Christmas coasters that I got uh, through Amazon and uh, I have that to show you a completion before long and I also have another um, 30 by 40 canvas that I will want to show you before very long that's almost done so those completions will be forthcoming very soon and then I have uh, an unboxing uh, coming uh, your way also before very long so I want to thank you so much for being with me today and and for all your patience for over the last couple weeks with all the headaches I've had with my laptop and my inability to be able to uh, diamond or to not diamond paint because I continue to diamond paint uh, that hasn't stopped me but my ability to be able to videotape has been quite a, a disturbing and stressful thing but hopefully I'm back on track again now and things will go much better so thank you all so very much for your patience I appreciate that please like and subscribe to my videos and hit the no notification bell I would appreciate that so much then you'll know when I upload my next video I and I have decided to not just do diamond painting but I have other little things I will be sharing with you in the future I don't know exactly what they are but we'll all be surprised together but I definitely will be sharing my my diamond painting that is my love and I love to do that so you will you will all f definitely be seeing more of that so thank you so much you have a wonderful day and have a happy new year this weekend I'll be careful if you're out and about and please be safe and uh, have a healthy, happy new year. God bless you all. Bye.